Welcome back. This is a practice exercise. We're going to create two parts using the skills we've learned so far. In the first part, we'll use the mirror tool in the sketch environment. Next, we're going to create the same part using the mirror tool in the feature environment. The point of this exercise is to show you that there is more than one solution for any design requirement. Let's begin by inserting a sketch on the top plane. Rectangle tool. I'll place my rectangle about here. Right click and select to exit the tool. I'll select these two lines and convert them to construction geometry. And I'll add an equal relation. Next, I'm going to apply a sketch fillet with a 10 millimeter radius. Let's insert two circles now. We'll drop the second one about here. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's activate the Mirror Entities tool now. First, we select the entities to mirror. And we'll mirror about this line and accept. Let's activate the Mirror Entities tool again. Next, we'll select our entities to mirror with a window select. I don't really need this line, so let's unselect it. Mirror about this construction line. Here's our preview in yellow. Let's accept. To test the sketch, let me grab and drag it around a little bit. Looks like it works fine. Let's apply some dimensions now. This will be 50 millimeters. This circle 10 millimeters in diameter. OK. And the distance between these two points, 100 millimeters. OK. Our sketch is now fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Activate the extruded boss base command. 10 millimeter depth is fine. OK. Let's create a new part document. OK. And let's insert a sketch on the top plane. Activate the rectangle tool. Let's place our rectangle with one vertex coincident to the origin point. Sketch fillet, 10 millimeters, accept. Circle tool. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's shift select these two lines and add an equal relation. And now let's apply some dimensions. 50 millimeters here, accept. And 10 millimeters here. Accept. And this is going to be 50 millimeters. Accept. Now we need to use the Trim Entities tool. And watch out for blue lines as you trim. OK, now my sketch is underdefined. To see where the problem is, just grab and drag the sketch. We'll have to apply some relations to fully constrain our sketch. Let's shift select these two points and add a vertical relation. A reminder that the longer arrow indicates the vertical direction. Let's shift select these two points and add a horizontal relation. The sketch is now in black line and fully defined. Let's exit our sketch. Activate the extruded boss command. A 10 millimeter extrusion is fine. OK. Let's deselect everything and activate the mirror command. Mirror face plane. Right click, select other. And features to mirror. Let's select our extrusion. Accept. Let's deselect everything. Activate the mirror tool again. The mirror face plane will be the front plane. Let's use the bodies to mirror option. Accept. And here is our second part. Let's tile both parts vertically. As you can see, they look identical. This concludes our third exercise lesson about using the mirror tools.